Hey there, it's Mike from the Beaten Trail. This is a particularly difficult episode to record. This is our Maui episode. Two days after we got back from the island and rode UTVs and ATVs, the wildfires destroyed most of Lahaina, the town we stayed in. Half of the condo complex that we stayed in is gone. The restaurants, the everything we did there is uh, no longer. So we do ask that you do consider giving on the GoFundMe site for Maui off-road adventures, and we'll put that link down below. We understand that most of the staff there is displaced, so anything that you give will help them get back into business. So with that, respectfully, here is our time in Maui. Uh, our thoughts and prayers are with the people of Maui. Thank you. Hi there, welcome to The Beaten Trail, and in this episode we take you to Maui Off-Road Adventures in Maui, Hawaii. It is quite a long flight from the mainland, but if you do make it out to Hawaii, there are many off-road adventures for you to take part in. Not only that, but beautiful beaches and food and sights make Hawaii a great destination location. We did stay in a condo not too far from the center of town, right on the beach, and it was a short drive to get to Maui Off-Road Adventures. They use Maverick Sports, and these are all four-seaters. And once we signed our waivers and had a brief uh, safety discussion, Ray going over some details on the camera that is installed in all units, and it gives the customer an opportunity to take home Insta360 footage, which we thought was really cool. We had several family members going riding, so at some point I was riding and other times we went on a second day and other people were taking part in enjoying just what it's like to ride a side-by-side. -side. Now this is a guided tour, so for people that want to ride freely, you will not find that anywhere in Hawaii. There are a lot of official lands and locations where you cannot have any kind of off-road vehicle. They had a tour guide up front and the rear of the party. It was just a great time to get out and see the sights. This location in Maui used to be a pineapple plantation a long time ago, so they have been since cut down. The forest has been growing back. As you can see, it's very dusty in Maui, and this was prior to the wildfires that we mentioned in the beginning of the video. The tour takes a good pace. It really depends on the drivers. you do get some river crossings and some hills and a little bit of open sky to enjoy. We had our own 360 as well on a stick and we stuck it out there to get some good sights and it was just a beautiful day both days when we took our tour. Helmets and goggles are provided. We bought some dust masks because as you see, it's a lot of dust breathing that goes on while you're out on the trail. Halfway through the tour, the group stops up on the top of the mountain. And this is for not only a photo shoot where you can take pictures next to the ride and with the ocean in the background, but also for you to Get out, stretch awesome your legs, view. switch uh, drivers, car in a awesome spot and photos. in this case, we like decided to put the drone up for a little bit. Hard working every day, I'm stressed out, 24 7, babe. No, no time outs. Wish we could fly away, you and I Go to our favorite place, oh yeah, yeah Makes 
special memories together i'll be your company now and forever i say we fly away you and me go to our favorite place feeling the sun on my face in a while this point the staff will have a small tree and they will go ahead and dig a hole and plant one tree for each time that the tour comes by and this allows to continue to help the ecology and help the forest grow back the UTV tour gives you a unique perspective of the arid section of Maui on the other end of the island up by the road to Hana you see very very tropical areas and constant rain and moisture and the clouds drop everything that they have by the time they get to this end of Maui. It is dry, it is arid, and there's not much rain that happens here. The speed of the tour really depends on the skill set of the riders but for the most part it is at a good pace. You'll find mostly rocky but sometimes an occasional hill and there is some river basins that you will go through, although there's not too much water. Having ridden in other locations in the country, it does have its unique dirt style and dust, but still the scenic overviews are beautiful. So, uh, hey, it's Mike from the Beaten Trail. We are here with Ray, and he is the technical guru that takes care of Maui off-road. Uh, we have 360s in every car that is riding, and it's really awesome because when we have it, it's on the back, it's on the stick, it's, you know, it, it isn't a cheap camera, but it, it's everything. So if your friend is riding behind you, you can, you know, post-production go in. We've done videos about the 360. It's great. And the Insta360 footage, which you can purchase after your ride, is just icing on the cake. It's top-notch technology that you can take home and watch on the TV. It's like taking your whole ride home and reliving it. Ray also showed us about the Insta360 GPS remote, which we have since picked up. They go over great care for safety and just to let you know what to expect out there. And it's great for our family or for people that have some experience, so we weren't bored. It was definitely a lot of fun. But just to recognize the staff, extremely professional, regardless if they were going to tell you about the video or check you in for the ride, make sure that you understood the safety equipment for people who may not ride as much as we do. It was very comfortable and everybody had a great time. The staff was very knowledgeable and told us a lot about the island and we hope that they get back on their feet soon. So we do ask that you visit and donate to their GoFundMe page. And until then, we'll see you out there on the trail. Thanks.